Welcome to note taking. This is a screencast all about note taking. Note taking is one of the hardest things you could ever do because it's you're trying to remember what was written or said, but you're trying to do it in a lot fewer words. And you have to be able to do it in a way that you can understand it later. This is not always easy to do. So if you're looking at text to take notes from, what are you looking for? Because it's, it's not always easy to figure out what you're looking for. Well, first, look at the headings and the topics. Maybe you could make questions from those. Maybe that gives you an idea of what are they, what are they talking about. What, uh, even writing down the headings and topics can, for notes can help you go, oh, yeah, 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 that's what they were talking about. Because notes are a lot of times just a way to remember. If you're looking at a text, you might look at bold or highlighted words. If they're bold or highlighted, that generally means they're pretty important and probably very likely to show up on a test. Bullet points. Bullet points are those points where they say, like, this is a bullet point. Those are bullet points. They do the little dots here, and they could be dots. They could be little stars. They could be whatever you want it to be. So bullet points are pretty important. Charts. If there's a chart, probably pretty important to do. So you kind of know what to look for. Your headings, your bold, uh, highlighted words, your bullet points, your charts. Uh, what kind of ways are there to take notes? Well, there's a method called the Cornell Notes. There's one called outlining, mapping, charting, and just kind of writing sentences down. So I'm going to briefly talk about um, these right here. And then I'll go back and talk about this one after this. So this is going to be first, and I'll talk about that last. So we're going to talk about outlining, mapping, charting, and sentences. Outlining is simply like, okay, the, the you start off with biomes, and then underneath that there's rain types of biomes, which is rainforest, coral reef, and boreal forest. Underneath rainforest, you might have examples like the Amazon rainforest, the Congo rainforest, Western Washington's rainforest. So this is just kind of outlining, and what you're doing is you're starting here, and you're kind of going out for your outlines. So it just kind of just helps you organize it. This is mainly a way of organizing more than anything. Um, it's This might work well with uh, your headings and topics, like headings or title, like the chapter title, headings, and then what's underneath your, the, your main idea, details, this kind of thing. Mapping is not making a map as in like how to drive from this place to this place. But a map is simply drawing something out. So you might say biomes, and then you might say, okay, whoops, made a mistake there. Biomes, you might say, oh, a rainforest is a type of biome. A coral reef is a type of biome. A desert's a type of biome. And then from here, you might go, oh, OK, there's examples. You know, here's examples of rainforest, western Washington. I'll put that in there. So this is just kind of making a map of what what something could look like. This is, this is a map to help you organize your notes. Charts are simply uh, this type of a thing where you're actually going through and chart making a chart which is labeled by topics and then you can go in and fill the details. Um, a lot of you are probably familiar with K W H L, which is what do you know, what do you want to know, how do you know it, and what do you what have you learned? That's kind of in a that's a same that's using a chart to kind of take notes in a lot of ways. So that's kind of interesting is to, to create a chart sometime. It's great for uh, events and things where you're kind of like, okay, what happened? 
where did it happen, when did it happen, how did it happen, things that are really well organized, this works great. Sentence method. Sentence method is literally just taking the sentence and copying it from the book. This is, while this takes a lot of time, it's great for quotes or when you just can't say it better. Sometimes you get something in the book and you just, there's, there's no way you can say it better. It's just, it's just awesome. Uh, well, you, you might just want to write it down, you know, write it down word for word. This is also called quotes. Okay, so you might want to, you know, think of this as quotes. It's great for these things when you can't say it better, but well, it takes a long time to write things down sometimes. And you're not using your own words, you're using someone else's words. So this is great for quotes or when things, you just can't say something better, but you probably don't want to use it too much. Now, Cornell method is kind of a, it's a unique method here. It's kind of the best of both worlds or best of many worlds is you can use, you can add whatever kind of method you want inside the Cornell notes. It's pretty organized, but it's also it's pretty flexible. Now, what I'm going to show you here is what is this going to look like? So a Cornell note is basically an I. And inside the I, on the left-hand side, you'll notice the left-hand side is smaller than the right-hand side. You're going to put in things like Keywords, headings, topics, you might do dates, details, vocabulary words. Okay, you get the idea. This is kind of, you know, the, the these are all individual things here. But you get the idea. These these are kind of the big ideas here. These are big ideas. Over here is going to be notes and drawings. So you can use notes or you can use drawings. There's no, you don't have to choose from one or the other. So what you could do is you could say like uh, rainforest then you could put in something like uh, Amazon over here examples of it you could you could even do where we did rainforest, Amazon, Western Washington, Congo, you can kind of draw it maybe, you know, draw a little trees with little raindrops all over the place. You know, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You could even do an outline if you want. So it's pretty flexible here. But let's, let's take an example of a page in the text. Oh, this is all about grasslands, deserts, and tundras. So when we're looking at this, first thing we might want to notice is um, this is about grasslands, deserts, and tundra biomes. So maybe on your Cornell notes, you might want to say uh, why can't Mr. Gary spell? You might want to say that. I want to say, what is a tundra? What is a biome? So you might want to do this type of thing. And then, if you'll notice here, 
you got a bold word. You got you got savannas here. Like what is a savanna? Uh, oh, it's highlighted and it's bold. If it's highlighted and bold, you probably need to go through there and figure out what that is. You also might kind of want to look at the text features like, you know, what are the objectives? Um, are you going to be able to explain and describe the difference between a tropical and temperate grassland? Well, in your notes, you need to be able to explain that. So when you're going through and taking your notes, you kind of want to have some things you're looking for, some questions. So if we were to do something like this, we could also do, let's do, and I can't remember how Savannah is spelled, and then, so we, it's a grassland. They're, oh, they're in tropical and subtropical areas near the equator. So, you know, and this is just, you want to draw grass in here or something. So this is just kind of a, a brief, give you a brief idea of what to use Cornell notes for. Um, this is your terms, your big ideas, your, your topic sentences, and this might be a summary. So down below is a summary. So here maybe you want to put down warm, grassy, if you think of savannas, you have a lot of herd animals, you know, that go in herds, um, you have a lot of hunters, you know, like lions and uh, hyenas or something, you know, th this just kind of gives you an idea here. I think savannas, you wouldn't see a lot, not a lot of trees. You wouldn't see a lot of trees there. So this is just kind of a summary of what's in this box here. Uh, I hope that this was uh, helpful to you and if you have any questions make sure that you see your teacher um, or, and ask questions. Um, if you ever want to do a screencast like this to demonstrate something feel free to come up to the Technology Center. We'd be more than happy to help you out. But ask questions and share with people and, uh, so you get smarter and they get smarter because it's, it's kind of nice to do that and kind of nice to learn new technologies and stuff. So give this a try and see what you think. Thank you very much for watching the video. Bye-bye.